Good morning. Uh, today is March the 28th, and we've just passed the fourth Sunday in Lent. I'm here in the Cathedral Church of All Saints in Halifax, Nova Scotia. My name is Margie, and I am a lay reader, and happy to be sharing this morning prayer with you. We will be using the 1962 uh, version of the Book of Common Prayer, and let's draw together in silence near our God. O oh, worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Let the whole earth stand in awe of him. O oh Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Confession is found on page four. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. There is no help in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind. In Christ Jesus, our Lord, grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Today's psalm is number 133 and 134. You can find them on page 504. Behold, how good and joyful a thing it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious oil upon the head that ran down unto the beard, even unto Aaron's beard, and went down to the collar of his clothing like as the dew of Hermon, which falleth upon the hills of Sion. For there the Lord promised his blessing, even life forevermore. Behold now, praise the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord, ye that by night stand in the house of the Lord, even in the courts of the house of our God. Lift up your hands in the sanctuary and praise the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth give thee blessing out of Sion. Today's lesson is written in John, beginning at verse 5. When Jesus then lift up his eyes and saw a great company come unto him, he saith unto Philip, Whence shall we buy bread that they, these may eat? And this he said to prove him, for he himself knew what he would do. Philip answered him, Two hundred penny worth of bread is not sufficient for them, that every one of them may take a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, saith unto him, There is a lad here, which hath five barley loaves and two small fishes. But what are they among so many? And Jesus said, Make the men sit down. Now there was much grass in the place. So the men sat down, in number about 5,000. And Jesus took the loaves, and when he had given thanks, he distributed to the disciples, and the disciples to them that were set down, and likewise of the fishes as much as they would. When they were filled, he said unto his disciples, Gather up the fragments that remain, that nothing be lost. Therefore, they gathered them together, and they filled 12 baskets with the fragments of the five barley loaves, which remained over and above unto them that had eaten. Then those men, when they had seen the sign that Jesus did, said, This is of a truth, that prophet that should come into the world. Here endeth 
the lesson. We have um, a recognition today for uh, Saint Venturino of Bergamo. He was a Dominican preacher and a missionary crusader, a native of Bergamo, Italy. He joined the Dominicans in 1319 and soon distinguished himself as a brilliant preacher. He attracted huge crowds throughout Northern Italy. Pleased with his ability to reach large numbers of believers, he announced in 1335 his intention to go on a pilgrimage to Rome. When Pope Benedict XII learned of the pilgrimage, he feared that uh, Venturino might be planning to crown himself Pope and so forbade the friar. This decree was joined by one issued by the Dominicans themselves at the chapter in London. Ignorant of these bans, Venturino proceeded to Rome and then to Avignon, where he was arrested and imprisoned until 1343. He is also known for helping to organize a crusade at the behest of Pope Clement VI against the Turks, who were then menacing Europe. His feast day is March the 28th. He was born in 1304, and his death was in 1346. The Lord's Prayer on page 11. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. <coughs> Pardon me. The collect can be found on page 147. Grant, we beseech thee, almighty God, that we who for our evil deeds do worthily deserve to be punished by the comfort of thy grace may mercifully be relieved through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The General Thanksgiving, page 14. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for thine inestimable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ. For the means of grace and for the hope of glory, we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service, and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Today's quote is from Shauna Nyquist, when life is sweet, say thank you and celebrate. When life is bitter, say thank you and grow. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore.